What's up, everybody? It's Hobbs back here with you with another review. I want to thank MV Entertainment for sending me this Rewind Collection. This is from 2022 to 2023. This was a miniseries called 1982, the greatest geek year ever. This gets a 7.0 on IMDb, and it's 2 hours and 45 minutes. I watched this all the way through, uh, pretty much addicting. <laughs> uh, basically talks about all the movies from 1982 and how it was literally the greatest year in movie history, one of the greatest. And basically talks about how it tried to compete with 1970s films, you know, because it had to compete with like Jaws and Halloween and all these other movies that were doing so well and how in 1982... You know, all the, the good feature films they had as well, how they tried to measure up. They had Poltergeist, you know, Fast Times, Star Wars 2, all these different things. Excuse me, Star Trek 2, um, The Wrath of Khan. I believe that's what it was. All these different movies that, that came out in 1982 and how, like, it was just a different time to be alive because of the arcades and everything and... What they would do is they would get through each movie one at a time and talk about the box office and how it would try to compare. It talks about a lot about E.T. I mean, a lot about you know E.T. And, and how E.T. was supposed to be a horror movie initially and how it ended up being kind of like a family movie, sci-fi family movie. Um, just a lot of different things I didn't know about some of these movies. Uh, the Thing, you know, I'm measuring up for The Thing, all these different things that they had to measure up against and they wanted to be able to to make it a big movie learning about Siskel and Ebert about how uh, their show that they had apparently I didn't know about either that would you know help people decide if they want to go see movies or not it was really really interesting uh, this is a really good documentary um, I highly recommend this to everybody uh, to watch it is free to watch on uh, fearsome fear or favorsome I believe it's called just type in on Google 1982 greatest year ever and you'll find it. And uh, I really like this a lot because I learned a lot about movies I didn't know about um, that were out in 82. I learned about a lot of movies that I did know about in 82. More particularly Fast Times or Richmond High has to be my favorite. Uh, I was also born in 82, so that makes this, this even more special. But in April of 1982, Fast Times came out and that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep this short and simple because really there's no real premise to the movie. It just talks a lot about the 80s. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace. Sex.